Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Sunday, the 8th of August, 2021. We are starting our 70th week of dealing with this pandemic craziness. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 70%. It's not real bad outside, but it's not nice. It'll be 33 degrees Celsius. My son is here operating on Sherry, uh, trying to get a new spark plug hole. And uh, actually, right at, at this point, well, he just left to go get a tool. But he's in the process of putting everything back together again. And throughout the afternoon, he's been taking breaks and then working around the yard for me. A lot of weed eating and picking up stuff that's on the ground that I just haven't been able to, to get to. So, uh, I've been up for a while. This isn't coffee. This is actually uh, cherry Coke. Um. I actually got up about 11 o'clock and then laid back down and he was pounding on my window about quarter after 12. He said he'd been here for a while, <laughs> which is par for the course. But anyway, uh, so that's what's, that's what's going on at the moment. Um, I've been talking about this project that had to do with this little little radiator what I did was make a portable chiller air chiller cooler thing they're all over the internet uh, I think I may have mine's a little different than most I've seen and I'm mentioning it now because I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do a video on it so I was thinking about today but then you know uh, all this other stuff is going on so I'm not sure what time he'll be done or whether I'm going to dinner at his house or anything else this evening. Tomorrow's pretty well used up. And then Tuesday, we start back to school. That's the main reason why I, I put this chiller box together. And I'll give you a brief look at it, but it's too heavy to, well, too awkward for me to hold it up here. It's actually too big. Um, I'll see maybe I can just get a picture of it. But no promises on that. I will get around to doing a video on it here in the next few days. And uh, I've already got ideas on how to change it up. But uh, anyway. This Velcro for my headband, my head badge, doesn't want to stick. The glue just does not work. So, let's see. Uh, do a little hand stitching. I am not good at hand stitching. I could probably do a blanket stitch. That's not the look I was going for. Uh, so, I don't know what all is up for this week. My daughter is actually on her way to Pensacola. Uh... For work, I probably won't see her until Tuesday when I drop the boys off at her house. So I'll be over there tomorrow. Dad'll have the Dad'll have the boys tonight, and then until I get there tomorrow, and then of course. 
once he gets home, he'll have the boy show himself. But yeah, I'm not not sure what else is going on this week. Getting ready, you know, getting used to a new schedule or whatever. So we don't know. Like the one, well, the ten, the ten-year-old is going to be a safety patrol this year. He didn't think he had made the cut, but they called mom the other day and said that he had that he was going to be a safety patrol. So he's all excited. Me, <laughs> I'm excited for him, but for me, that means staying at the school like another half hour. So well, I could probably just go ahead and get to the school a half hour later, but that depends on what the traffic is going to be like. Traffic there at that school backs all the way down the street. And then I'm sitting in that long line of traffic. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So. Should mean I can get a few more things done around here in the evenings because I'm not going to be, you know, it's not going to be the end of a 12 hour day. Oh, come on now. Like I said, this is not going to be, this is not going to be gorgeous, but it should be functional. Half tempted to go get another color and do an X in the middle of this white square, but. Guess not. This is a skill everyone should have, even if it's just just minimal. Like you know, I'd never, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't try making a shirt out of this. But you know, I can still want a patch, or still want a button. been a while but I've even got a little bit of skill with a sewing machine at least the older style no not treadle old don't go there Ugh. That doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look all that great. <laughs> but hey, like I said, it should be functional. Now what did I do with my... There she is. Another little clip. This part I glued on 
with E6000. And it seems to be sticking. Although, now it's fading out. Very quickly. Let's see. No, well, maybe not. It's kind of the same way on there. All right. Ooh. So anyway, that's done. I need to make up another one to go on my black hat. Put that there for now. I'm not going to do it now. Well, I could. <laughs> Uh, anyway. What we got going on here? We got 12 minutes, right? That didn't take long to sew that up at all, did it? Typical Sunday, I've got the I got the wash going. Um, still need to tackle the kitchen a little bit. Yeah, that's one of the never-ending things. It's like it's like the electric bill. You know, you, you never you get you get caught up, but you never. But even as you're getting caught up, you're still creating more mess. Um, You know, I'll get I'll get the dishes done and then it'll be time to make a make a sandwich or something and be right back to putting stuff in the in the sink and go ah I'll clean it later <laughs> ends up being two or three days later a week but uh, I had a small aluminum bottle on this pump sprayer. But it, it got a hole in it. It's just a, one of them things from Dollar Tree. So, I figured I'd use one of the small soda bottles to make it pump. But it was way too short. Went ahead and added a piece of a straw to the bottom of it with some hot glue. So we'll see how, see how that works. If it doesn't work, oh well. Uh, I like keeping small spray bottles around like that, or well, I just reuse bottles and stuff like that all the time. Um, some of the small, some of the small bottles, I guess they're they're ten or twelve ounce sodas. Um, they're nice. I've got some. I've got a bunch of them frozen to go into this air chiller thing. Uh, Last night I got a little, about an hour and a half out of, of ice out of three little bottles and some water. Um, I still had a little bit of ice left, so I'm going to say I got an hour and a half out of those three little bottles. And uh, so the, the concept is working as far as I'm concerned, but... Anyway, those little bottles also come in handy. Like, I don't have a whole lot of room in the shower. Like, my shower is only like that much taller than my than I am. So, trying to rinse my hair off after after washing it down. I mean, I've got the I've got the shower head, of course. I put my head back to that. But then I like to, I, I do a vinegar rinse, and there's no room to put a, 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 even a even like a one liter bottle doesn't work. So I've got one of the small bottles. Actually, I've got one of the small water bottles. That's even smaller. I think that's I think that's eight or nine ounces. Um, and I just put a a uh, 
this detergent spout on it. So just do it up. I like having the spray bottles. Uh, like when I get done with the laundry, I'll, I'll throw it in a, in a dryer and spritz it down with with vinegar. Um, actually, a, a vinegar water mix. <coughs> I don't like the smell of fabric softener. I don't really need the fabric softener. The vinegar seems to work great doing that. It also helps combat the mustiness, which if you have clothes in a drawer here in Florida, uh, even if you've got your air conditioner running or whatever, it's so humid down here, things just get musty, like real quick. I went in my closet the other day, and it was like, oh my God, I ended up having, <coughs> excuse me, having to throw away a couple of my bags because they were all covered with mildew. And I probably could have cleaned them, but that's a, that's a big chore. And that mildew can be, you know, it can get into your lungs and everything else. So mildew, mold, whatever. It was, it was nasty. And it stunk. Ugh. So I, had, I went in and sprayed down with vinegar. Left the doors open. Tried to get some ventilation in there. Left a bowl of vinegar sitting in there. <laughs> uh, anyway. What else, what else, what else, what else? Um, I don't know. See, with, with me doing these riding and rambling or, yeah, rambling and riding or, or whatever I call it, riding and rambling, doesn't leave me a whole lot to go on on these Sunday, these Sunday talks. So, I'm pretty much all caught up from throughout the week. But... Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's, you know, I get these, I've got several ideas in mind, which ones come, come to fruition. I've got a couple of cooking videos in mind. I need to really spend a couple of hours hard on the kitchen to get it presentable or figure out a way. I want to go out and do a couple of uh, quick meals on the, with the camping set that I just got. I will share my experiences as I learn with that thing. Uh, it's very, it's very thin. It's kind of like cooking with the the, uh, the Boy Scout uh, mess kits. It's not a whole lot, whole lot different than that. So it'll be a lot of, a lot of fiddling around and figuring out temperatures and all that stuff. Um, like I said, I've got a, got a couple of ideas for that. It's, you know, in, in the evenings, coming home from from the, the daughter's house or whatever. Uh, we'll see how, see how that works out. Again, I'm back to that. I used to love to go down to that spot on the river. And it's still closed off. You know, I've got so much... There's so much that I used to do down there, the, cook, the, the cooking videos and stuff like that. And I'm not comfortable in the, in the few other spots that I've found. Well, down at, down at the, the little jetties right there at the, at the mouth of the river. Um, that's not bad, but that, that always gets crowded. So, it's a possibility. And then there's one or two uh, camping areas that are probably nice enough to try out. We'll, we'll figure that out. Especially now that I've got this air chiller. Um, there's no place. A couple of the parks that I would go to are past my daughter's house, and there's no convenience stores to get ice at. So I'm not sure that that will work out. I can't be stealing all of her ice. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It's all there's, there's a lot going on up here. <laughs> there's always there's always a lot going on up there. There's you know I've always got four or five projects going on. So 
I mean, look what I, I've got that, you know, gluing up that sprayer and sewing up the the hat and maybe doing another another ring. Um, uh, working on another uh, go bag, day bag, whatever. Uh, tis what it is, what it is. All right, we're running at 20 minutes. I think I'm going to get out of here. And uh, I appreciate y'all popping in and hanging around and listening to me babbling yak. I really do. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved one's nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all.